Thanks for tuning in to the 3D Tutor. Hey guys, welcome back to the Virtual Gallery tutorial. So now what I've gone ahead and done, like I mentioned earlier, is I've got the trigger set up for every single door. So it's the same process as last time, where we added the um, the trigger box and the matinee for each door. So what I'm going to be, what I'm going to start working on now is actually the terrain, um, or so should I say, the landscape um, for the last room. So as you can see, we can go through each room. They all have timers, so they will close after five seconds. There you go, and then we can keep going through like so until we get to the landscape room which is just here which is obviously currently empty there's not really anything going on there so what we're going to start with first of all is we're going to go in and create the landscape now we go over to the uh, landscape icon just here you can also press shift 3 as soon as you go into this landscape tab you'll see that it's going to be a huge lands landscape um, set within our 3d space now this is okay obviously if you're going to make a massive environment but I'm going to drag I'm going to actually reduce the section size to 7 by 7 and then we're just going to go and hit create in fact we can line this up first so there's two ways to do it you can either line up the terrain or uh, first or then you can create it after uh, or you can create it now and then line it up later so we're going to actually line it up right now so I'm going to go ahead and move this over to roughly the middle of this uh, of this landscape room. Then we're going to go in and we're just going to simply scale it. So we're going to scale it with the middle of the scale tool that's going to allow it to scale in all axes. Just like that. We're going to bring it in smaller and smaller. Now the reason why the checkers are so big is because actually below the 3D space. So we're just going to pull that up so it just sits above that ground in that room. Just like so. Okay. So that's fine. Um, you can probably scale it in a little bit more possibly but you want to be careful here not to um, scale it too much because then it will come inside the room so I'm going to go to roughly about here making sure that it's just overlapping a little bit on either side that's fine for this particular task so I might just move it across the left just a little bit and then also on this side you want to make sure that it's not cutting through this room um, at all really so we're just going to go ahead and push that back over until it's I'd say roughly oof, a little bit more so it doesn't really cut through there. Maybe pull it down a touch, just to make sure it's only just over the ground like that. Okay, so that's pretty good. Possibly need to pull it over just a little bit more. I don't want it to go into that room. I'm gonna go to about, oh, that might be a bit too much. There we go. So now we see it doesn't really come into this room and it's nicely placed within this area just here. So once you're happy with that, we can simply go and click on to create. So create's gonna create the terrain. Don't worry about the fact that it looks really horrible and checkered right now. We're gonna be fixing that in just a moment. So what we need to do now is we need to create a landscape material. So I'm gonna create a new folder down here. Now I recommend whenever we work with a different room, we create a new folder uh, within our content browser for that new room, just to kind of clear our workflow up a little bit. Um, and obviously it's a bit of housekeeping as well, just to make sure everything's tidy. So we're gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call it landscape. And within that landscape folder, which is just here, I'm going to double click that. I'm going to be dragging in a uh, grass texture. Now, I got this texture from textures.com. They have loads of different textures, but you can find one, of course, that you think uh, will look good. So I'm going to go with probably this one just here. So let's open that photo so you can see what that looks like. It's pretty dirty. You can also go with this, but I don't really like this to look too great. So I'm going to stick with this one just here. Okay, we've got the grass diffuse map. Now I went ahead and I created a roughness map, which is effectively where I want the grass to be shiny is gonna be black, and where I don't want it to be, it's not really shiny actually, it's reflection, um, and where you don't want reflection, it's gonna be white. So I just inverted it uh, and made it obviously um, black and white as well. I did a grass specular map, so this is where I want the grass to shine light. If you don't really know about these maps, you can go ahead and check out my uh, advanced texturing tutorials, which will talk about bumps, um, speculars, and normals. Um, and yeah, and then I also created a normal map as well. Now you don't have to do this. This is obviously a massive additional if you're at that stage um, and you've got everything done, then this is an additional thing you should be doing, not something you do right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it very basic. I'm gonna drag in my grass diffuse map and I'm gonna drag it into uh, our landscape folder. Okay, so once you've got that, we're gonna literally go ahead and create a material out of it. So we're gonna create a material and I'm actually going to be calling this um, landscape material. 
is actually underscore mat. So I'm just going to go with landscape material, get rid of the underscore mat, and that's our landscape material. So I'm just going to break the link of these two by holding Alt and then clicking on this button just here, pulling this aside. So I'm going to drag, I'm going to right click on the left hand side, type in landscape uh, layer chords. Okay, landscape layer chords. And then I'm going to drag out from there and go on to multiply. I'm going to explain in a minute what that's for. And then go from there to the texture sample, which is our diffuse map. This is right click here, landscape layer blend. Now currently the layer blend doesn't have any, any layers in there, it's blank. So what we need to do is come over to the left hand side under, under details and we're going to click the plus and we're going to name this the actual texture that we have here which is grass. So we're just going to name that grass and now that will link into there and this can link into our base color. Okay. The multiply basically is for the scaling of the material. So when you apply this as default, what's going to happen is it's going to probably be really, really small and it's going to be toweled too small. So we'll fix that in just a moment. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly bring in my other material. So I've obviously got a grass normal, roughness and a specular. So I'm going to drag those in. Again, this is something you should be doing additionally on top of everything else. So I'm going to select those three just there. I'm going to drag those into my material like so. So it's going to be the um, specular first, then it's going to be the roughness, and then it's going to be the normal. Okay. So with this, from the multiplier, I can actually connect that up to each one of these materials like so. So make sure it actually goes into uh, each material like so. That just means that it's going to share the same options um, for the scaling and for the layer coordinates in every single one of these materials. So everything's going to match up very nicely. Okay, so next what we're going to do is going to make copy of the layer blend. So we're going to go down and we're just going to link this through here into specular because that's specular map. I'm just going to do the same again. This is going to go from the roughness map into the layer blend and into the roughness just there. Now you might be thinking, why can't you just take them all through? Because actually you can only have one um, connection from the layer blend into a material. So just making a copy there it's just going to make sure that they all tie up together within that grass material. So you see they're all still called um, grass and it should be fine when you go into paint our um, texture. It's going to hit the uh, X just here for now. Now we need to paint this. So we're going to go over actually to paint. We're going to go to paint and what I'm going to do is in fact I'm going to go to place. I'm going to click on the terrain itself. So I'm going to click on the, on the landscape. Keep doing that. Keep calling it terrain. It's actually landscape. And then I'm going to go over and drag that material into the landscape material uh, slot just there. Okay, so it's going to then compile some shaders to let it do its thing. There we go. It's going to appear black, but don't worry about that. We're going to go back into paint uh, within our landscape uh, tab just here. And let it compile the shaders because now you'll see that it's actually got the layer there. We're then going to go into um, the plus because we need to create a layer info first. So weight blended layer. Okay, so make sure you place that within the landscape folder just to keep things a little bit neat and tidy. And you'll see there'll be a layer uh, info just there. And after that's done, we can simply go in and paint this material. Okay, so we can just go in and paint, just cover the whole entire terrain with this material. Okay, don't worry about the fact it still looks checkered and a bit dirty really. Um, we're going to fix that in a moment. So as you can see, they're really, really small textures, can't really see them that well uh, we need to actually enlarge them so this is where the multiply comes into play so if i go in here if i click on the multiply and reduce that value of one in this left um, hand details panel to like 0 0.3 for instance and then just save it and just close this so you can obviously have a look and see what it looks like it's going to compile shaders again just because we've made a change to the material and you see now it's a lot bigger okay it's a lot bigger and it looks a lot better so what you want to do at this stage is you just want to build your lighting. Um, so you can go to build lighting only. There we have it. So the, the lighting is now built and that is our, uh, our, gr our grass created on the ground. So it looks a bit tiley still, but I'll have a look later and I can always tweak up the material a little bit further. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're actually going to raise some of this. So we're going to go to sculpt and we're going to go to the sculpt tool here and we can just change the brush size. So it's going to be quite big. Now what you can also do is you can use the square brackets uh, buttons on the keyboard to scale um, and to change the uh, brush size and we can obviously reduce the strength now I've got mine set to about 0.2 because what you'll notice is when you start painting this it's going to start raising up pretty quickly as you can see that's starting to rise up I like to have a bit more control so I do soften it up quite a bit um, like that so I'm just going to reduce that I don't want it to be too high in, in, 
in a lot of the areas so in the corners you could lift it up possibly in these areas maybe shrink the brush a little bit more now one thing you don't want to do is lift it at the door so you don't want to be lifting it where the door is you want to be kind of working around the door area just so you, it kind of flows in um, like so so as you can see when you walk in you'll see a bit of a variation in the height so let's say once you've created it and you're not quite happy some of it looks a little bit jagged it's not very smooth like there what you can do is you can actually go on to smooth from the sculpt tool to smooth and then we can go in and just brush over some of the areas now obviously that's probably a bit too strong so we're going to go down to about 0.01 and we're just going to be increasing the brush size and just sort of smoothing it off very very nicely so that's not too bad but you see the difference that it does push it down quite a bit um, but that's not too bad to be fair it's okay okay so there we have it that's our terrain done okay now what we can do is we can obviously test it out with our player and see what it looks like what i tend to do here is i just drag the player uh start so that's this guy just here i'm going to click on him and i'm going to push him all the way not that way make sure we get him in the right axis i'm just going to push him further forward just to make sure that he's just outside the door there we can play press the e key to open that's going to open into our terrain now obviously we haven't built the lighting so it looks a little bit odd but that grass still looks too small doesn't it so i'm just going to increase that scaling again so just go into here and i'm going to multiply and let's say a 0.1 let's see how that looks all right and there we have it that is the uh the final material there that's looking a lot better pretty happy with that Okay, so what we're going to be doing next is we're actually going to be going in and um, starting to work on getting the foliage into this space. Okay, so stay tuned for that video, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed and found this video useful on getting a terrain set up into this uh, virtual portfolio gallery. And I'll catch you all next time.